welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa, and today we are doing breakfast. And all month long, actually, for the month of September, I am sharing a ton of new breakfast recipes. You guys are always asking for quick and easy breakfast ideas, and that's what we're doing. We're not into focusing the entire month on breakfast, but there are gonna be a bunch of videos that have really yummy, healthy, vegan breakfast ideas. And today is one of them. So today we're kicking off with three delicious quinoa breakfast recipes, and they actually all use quinoa flakes. I've shared another video on this channel about how to use quinoa flakes, but I honestly feel that quinoa flakes are the perfect breakfast food. They can act as oatmeal, they can be baked, there's just a whole number of ways to use them, and they're super high in protein, high in fiber, they'll help keep your energy up, and they will help to keep you full. So we've got three delicious recipes today. All of the links to the full recipes are in the description box below. And also below, if you wanna check it out, is a quinoa breakfast cookbook that I have created. This has over 90 recipes in it. Not all of them are vegan, but it has a bunch of overnight quinoa recipes, some toast ideas, a bunch of pancakes, granola, cereals. So if you wanna check that out, the link is right below as well. So let's talk about what's in today's video. So we are making my pumpkin pie quinoa breakfast cookies, which are so so tasty and they're perfect for on the go. We are also making some apple pie overnight quinoa. And then the third recipe we're making is my 90 second blueberry breakfast quinoa. So all of these are crazy simple to make. We've got a mixture of dessert for breakfast, something cold that you can make the night before, and a super quick kind of warm hearty breakfast that you can wake up to in the morning. So let's just go ahead and dive into the recipes. So the first recipe we're gonna make are my pumpkin pie quinoa breakfast cookies. And we start by mashing one medium banana in a mixing bowl. And you can just mash this up until it's almost smooth. If a few chunks remain, that's totally fine. And then we're gonna add in our pumpkin puree, our maple syrup, some nut butter. I like to use cashew butter, but you could really use any nut or seed butter that you'd like. As well as some flaxseed meal and some water. And then we're just gonna stir everything together, set it aside, and let this gel for about five minutes. Then we can start with our dry ingredients. We are using quinoa flakes, rolled oats, cinnamon, nutmeg, and baking powder. And we're just gonna stir this all together until it forms a thick kind of sticky cookie dough. And then we can shape it into our cookies. So if you have a cookie scoop, you can use that, but I don't have one with me right now. So I just used a spoon and I just spooned this onto a parchment lined baking sheet and just repeat until you fill your baking sheet. And then I like to shape them with my hands a little bit to help them be more uniform and flat. And then you're gonna pop these in a 350 degree oven for about 13 to 15 minutes until they are nice and golden brown. Then you can just remove them from the oven and transfer them to a wire rack. And once they've cooled completely, you can serve them however you like. You can throw them in a little baggie. You can take them with you on the go. And I think you guys are absolutely gonna love these cookies. So the second recipe we're making is my apple pie overnight quinoa. And this is gonna start with adding quinoa flakes into a mason jar. And then you're gonna top that with some chia seeds, some protein powder, hemp seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And then you're just gonna pour over some almond milk or whatever nut milk you like to use. You could also use water if you don't wanna use nut milk. And then you'll just stir this together and you can set it in the fridge overnight and then add your apples. Or like I mentioned in the blog post, you can also add your apples before you refrigerate your quinoa. So once it's kind of set in the fridge overnight, if it's too thick, you can stir in a little bit more almond milk or water, and then you can just top it with your apples. And I like to do a drizzle of peanut butter just because I love the peanut butter and apple flavor combo, but you totally don't have to do that. And then I just sprinkled mine with a little bit of extra cinnamon, and it's perfect to take with you on the go. You can just stir in those apples when you're ready to enjoy, and you'll see here it's this thick porridge texture and it tastes so delicious. So the final recipe that we're making is my 90 second blueberry breakfast quinoa. And again, we're gonna be starting with quinoa flakes. You're just gonna add these into a small saucepan along with a tablespoon of almond butter or whatever kind of nut or seed butter that you like, and then some water. And then you can also add in some maple syrup to sweeten if you like, as well as your blueberries and your cinnamon for a little bit of extra flavor. And then we're basically just gonna stir this together and then bring this mixture to a boil, reduce it to low, and then you're just gonna let this simmer for about 90 seconds while you stir it constantly. And you're really just cooking it until you get the texture that you like. 
I like mine on the thicker side, but if you like yours on the thinner side, you can cook it for a little bit less. And then we are just going to pour this into a bowl. And then you can enjoy this as is. You could also throw on some nuts or seeds or more blueberries. Basically just whatever you like on top of your oatmeal. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this one too. And there you have it my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you end up trying any of these recipes, I would love to see a photo. You can share something with me on Instagram if you would like. My handle is at simplyquinoa or you can use the hashtag simplyquinoa. If you use either of those, that just helps me easily find your photo and then I can give you a like and show you a little bit of love in return. And of course, if you haven't checked out that quinoa for breakfast cookbook, definitely recommend it. Like I said, there's over 90 recipes in that book. Many of them are not on my website. Actually, the majority of them are not on my website. So there's a ton of breakfast inspiration. So again, that link is right below if you wanna check it out. I'd also love for you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. There's a red button that says subscribe right below this video, so you can click that. I will also put a button on the next screen for you. And other than that, I hope you guys have a really awesome start to your week. Happy September, and I look forward to seeing your breakfast creations. See you next time. Bye!